y'all welcome back to my channel i'm clea luria and y'all we are about to smash today i have a nasty piece of baked spaghetti here that i made um we got some fried chicken i ain't make that shit and then we got some breadsticks so y'all i'm so ready to dive in of course i'm drinking some orange juice my favorite we got some hot boss over here for the wings about to go ahead and just drench it we about to go ahead and just drench it Break her up, break her up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's good, y'all. I love this is some Chinese chicken wings. Let me know down in the comments if y'all like Chinese chicken wings. I kind of prefer them over like KFC and Popeyes. Ooh, or that. Mm. Mhm. Mm yeah, I put pepperonis on here. I put pepperonis on here. Mhm. Mm Parmesan cheese on top. Mm. So I use Italian sausage. I didn't use any ground beef. Mm -mm. Mm. I need a straight baby shower, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. Go ahead and tell me, y'all. Y'all thought I was Janet Jackson when I clicked on the video, right? I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm giving poetic justice. I got a nasty piece of vest on, okay? Mm-hmm. Don't do too much. Mm. So y'all, these are um, the Kroger brand mozzarella breadsticks. Mm. So good. Okay, y'all remember, I told y'all I got a new job, right? Mm-hmm. And my ex's ex work up there. Baby, I quit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I got reason, okay? It was a freaking op party in there, okay? I it was hella of my ops in one room, close proximity. Baby, I didn't feel right. So let me just tell you the more entertaining side of it instead of Instead of me saying, like, you know, one of the main reasons, but. Mm. So. I remember I told y'all I ran into old girl in the hallway. That was it, right? I show up for training. And she worked there, so she's going to be there. I was there first, though. And then she showed up. Well, she still needed a little bit more training, so the lady that was training me had to keep getting up and going over there. Red flag. Mm. So, <clears throat> I'm sitting there texting, waiting for her. And, as people are introducing themselves in the room, I hear a real familiar name a name like not that many people have okay and i see her smiling waving at me op number two so with me and op number two we used to be best friends in like middle school and ninth grade year mm. like 
when I list name a friend, she was definitely one of them. Okay, that's my friend. Sleepover, whole whole you know trolls. She was a hoe. I was her wingman. I ain't partaking none of that shit. She knew that, but I was her friend, so I waited on her. Okay, so when I say oh, that was my friend. And reason how she became a op, ooh, how she became a op was, it was ninth grade year. I just started liking boys. You know, I was into the girls. Mm. And I was like, girl, I like Aaron. She was like, mm, he okay. But yeah, I was shy, okay? <clears throat> I, it wasn't known that I liked the guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell, it wasn't known I liked the girls. I was just to myself. So, once I tell her that information, y'all, literally weeks later, our other friend told me that she gave him head. My best friend. <clears throat> Damn, excuse me. Went behind my back. And, uh, yeah, did that to a guy that she knew I liked. Like, one of the guys I was, like, serious about. Like, y'all, I had a crush on him. So, yeah. That was that. Op number two. So, then, now this third op, I don't really know her personally. Mm. But, on social media, we follow each other. And it's like we know who each other are is. We know who each other are. Yeah, we know who each other are, but we don't know each other. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. she walk in, real stain, just ghetto, just you know, just mm -mm. it was giving real. Mm -mm. So. Mm. You told me to sit down. You said the mood changed a little bit. Even more than what it already was, y'all. I got three people I don't like <clears throat> in one small ass office. Mm mm. And being like, y'all, the job on top of it, it was just too much. You okay? But that's my second shift, second shift job. I'm gonna be sleepy at night. Who, who thinking that much? Mm mm. Not me. I'm gonna pull a pallet somewhere before I do some shit like that as a part time job. So yeah, I was like, yeah, this is just not for me. And then like, I didn't even get a full day of training, y'all. I was supposed to leave at nine nine o'clock at night. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Damn. Excuse me, sorry y'all. They let me go at 6 because somebody else came in and needed to be trained. So from 2 to 6, that's all the training I had for this hard ass job. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No wonder why training takes 2 to 3 weeks to learn. Because of that shit like that. No tea. No lie. So yeah, declined that real quick. So... Papa Doc is home. He um he recovered superb. Okay. Like we was everybody was so shocked. So shocked. He ended up going home uh six days after his surgery. Most people say it's about two weeks. Papa Doc was walking, peeing, kidney functioning. Everything was good. So, kudos to Papa Doc. So, um, my brother ended up having to go to the hospital for his gallbladder. So, he's going to get gallbladder surgery here soon. Uh, later on today or tomorrow. And <clears throat> my mom was over in Kentucky at the hospital with him. And then Papa Doc gets to get released over in Ohio. So, I'm like, I'm on my way, Papa Doc. I was at home um, making my spaghetti. Now you can eat last night. 
because I had to go get him. So my sister was gonna keep Kamari for me while I was working my second shift job. Well, she didn't have to keep Kamari because I ended up getting off and then she just went with me to go get our dad. And he came home, everybody ate my spaghetti bake, but me, and it was a hit. Mm. I definitely wanna make it again. Add some spinach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Y'all, I just cannot believe. It was just so much going on at that job. It was just so much going on. People not really train fully, training people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all mm. heard me right. The girl was like, I haven't been here for two weeks. What, what you training me for? Baby, we need to be sitting together. I, I just don't get it. I, I didn't want to. It was chaotic. They have a lot of COVID outbreaks, but you can work from home. <clears throat> so that there alone, if I ever caught COVID again, they would expect me to be working. Nah, fam. <laughs> I need to get my, my peace time on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Woo. Now I'm full already. I ate hella though. I mean, I look like it. But it's all I got. See? This little bit. I'm gonna take one more bite because it is good. <laughs> I did my thing. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Why Kamari tell me that some little boy at school picked up several sharp pencils and wanted to stab another little boy because he was bullying him? Mm-hmm. I said, oh my God, Kamari, what did you do? Like, when you seen that happening, what did you do? She said, I stood on top of the chair. I said, baby, you don't you don't get a better view. Mm-mm. You run in the opposite direction and shit like that, baby. Come on now. We are black, okay? Mm, I don't know. I had um, a meeting with the teacher. She told me, you know, what happened. I guess it wasn't as severe as what Kamari tried to make it seem, but it did happen. A little boy got put in a different um, classroom, like I, kind of like special ed behavior. So they're watching him. That's all she could say. So, long as Kamari know what to do if a child ever try some shit like that, ever. But y'all, I'm full. Thanks for joining me for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. You already know the drill. Catch y'all my next video. Peace. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let burpers. Let me know down in the comments. Y'all hate when I say excuse me after a burp. Just let me know.